Hello again, how's it going guys? I got a phone call from a friend of mine last night and he says that he has something for me that he thinks I'd like and so let's go pay him a visit. I'm not a big fan of this type of beer but uh, Amongst my friends and in the trading circles in which I operate, this stuff is currency and it's certainly the ultimate thank you note. So I'm gonna take some of this with us. Better not forget these. Okey We're not under any kind of lockdown here in British Columbia, but we are being encouraged to socially distance ourselves. And I'm all right with that. I really am. Especially if it means a bit of time off work. <laughs> okay, let's go and find Randy. We had a little bit of rain last night and it's the first rain we've had in probably two or three weeks. So it was much needed. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a sunny day today. Which we won't say no to. Now Randy used to cut all the lawns in the neighbourhood and uh, the problem is that everybody knocks all the old houses down and they built these huge mansions. As a result, there's no lawns anymore and it kind of put Randy out of work. However, he has found himself a, a tidy little number at this place we're about to visit now. So I've just blackmailed this man here. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, cheers, Randy. I'll help myself, buddy. Yeah, okay. Thanks. My old friend Randy has got me a whole bunch of these pallet collars. And as any gardener will tell you, these are instant raised beds. So I'm not about to say no to these. Problem, buddy. Yeah, Anytime. Thank you, Leo. Yeah. You're the man. All right, buddy. Thank you. All right. So I'm not going to be using these this year, I don't think. So we need somewhere to store them. And even though there's only two of us in the house, we're full. We've got too much stuff. I've got no idea where we're going to put them. Let's have a look then, shall we? Let's see, can we make some room in here? I don't know, maybe I should go and measure them. Alright, so let's say that these are... Let's go with nine and a half inches wide with a bit of breathing space and I know for a fact that they're about 76 inches long clean this little spot out here they could go here which is really handy because the back of the car is there um, it might miff the neighbor a little bit but that's okay he's a bit of a prick anyway all right I think I think they're gonna go here or well, at least they're gonna try Well that's, I counted 33 collars here and my body says that there's a whole bunch more that I can take any time that I like. And I don't need them right now, but it's not something I can say no to. I use them for all kinds of things. Uh, these ones here I'm using for compost and I just made a couple of carrot beds with them. 
just last week or the week before a few people have asked me where I get them from and there's my answer become friends with somebody who's a shipper receiver at the local industrial estate and then you should have pallet collars for life now as far as how long they last I kind of estimate well, I did estimate five years but these ones here have been sat in now for at least five years I think this is probably their sixth year and there's no sign of these rotting away just yet and these ones have modified as you can see we cut down the sides just so as we could fit them up against the fence to grow our peas in and these ones we painted up for the grandchildren but uh, I'm not sure they're going to be able to get across here and plant them up because at the moment we are socially distancing then I've got a few down the back here that I'm using for storage it kind of keeps things tidy and plus things like these tomato cages I'm always falling over these flipping things anyway so yeah it tidies a few things up Another thing you can do with the pallet collars, and I'm thinking about copywriting this one, is that you can pop them on top of one of your raised beds with a bit of plastic over the top and your seedlings will be protected. And then finally, when you finish with them on top of the bed, you can also use them as a standalone cold frame. Well that's about it for now, and right now I think it's time for a beer. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section below, and if you haven't subscribed, please give it some thought. And until next time, cheers.